Uh, just an interesting fact too, Queensland in the ID went through undefeated, New South Wales in the blind have gone through undefeated and a team in uh, the 36 or the 35 previous championships of blind cricket have uh, never gone through the entire tournament undefeated. Uh, and we will obviously keep our listeners in the local water vision impaired listeners and I know there's a lot out there. Oh, was there a drop catch there? I'm not sure. Compared to me at least. And me too, Tony. I'm 49. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay head again, just swinging him around the corner with ease here at the moment. If it's out the stroke, he's actually only played with 10 players yesterday, so... Lindsay Heaven just dominating here. Just getting run after run after run, just picking gaps expertly, isn't he? He threw that onside again. He just has a beat to his own drum, isn't he, really? Yeah. Look, generally, they're close to the mark, and it's at the umpire's discretion of how many they do based on... It's going to be a run out here. Is, yes. Now, is There's that, a run out because they were trying to get a very quick run. Keeper, and you could change it regularly. And and I'm talking every over it used to happen. Again beating the infield. More runs coming from the bat of Sean Fitzpatrick. Than what you think it's going to go. It's a good shot down the ground by Lindsay Heaven. He was uh, able to disperse the field. Now, it's a good return. It hit the base of the stumps. It just adds a bit more time, doesn't it? This one's down the leg side, and he just knocks it around the corner. And there's another half century. He's made many of these in blind cricket over the years. It's like shelling peas for Lindsay Heaven. Well batted. There's Victoria and New South Wales. John Fitzpatrick sweeping the next one. Just gets it past via Siri. I mean, they've seen enough of him to know the way he plays. Yeah. With the flicks around the corner and the reverse sweeps and the fact he, as soon as the ball leaves the bowler's hand, he's on the go looking for run. Has that got a lot to do with the bats? I think more the balls. Right. Because the ball comes along a lot flatter. You... Great running by New South Wales. And they come we'll back for two. Sloppy fielding by Victoria. But I think the next three overs is the key. It's straight down the ground by Cameron, and there's no one there's protection at straighten it off. So now, this Lindsay Heaven's proving a bit of a stumbling block for the Vicks, isn't he? Well, he's a star. I mean, he, he is he, a star. He has played for Victoria and won four uh, best players at, yes. the, at the blind titles. And uh, you'd describe him as a very efficient cricketer, wouldn't you, Paul? He, he, a bit uh, like Paul Sheehan and his prime. <laughs> and that's, and I think that's the, that's the issue. So I think if they get anywhere between... 190 and 210, 215. See, look, at the, play, look at the placement. I mean, that was brilliant again by Lindsay Heaven. Once on either side. Right. Oh, there's a catch. Yeah, there is a catch. Now, uh, no, he dropped it. I have my doubts about it. Do you think by, by encouraging people with given images, is a wicket it, gone? It, there's, a, there's a wicket here. There is a wicket. LBW. Yes. He heaven. Gone. Yeah, Heaven had LBW attempting to sweep. This championship is the friendship between the, the states. And you'd be surprised because it's not always the, the B1 bowlers that they'll take the risk on. Okay. Good bit of fielding. Yeah, excellent. Nice sweep Not such again. A good throw. Now we're labouring. The games. I've never heard so much talking on a cricket field in my life. No. Mind you, in the next game, it'll be dead, dead silence. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I had a good, I had a good look at the final last year on the, um, on the YouTube, on the replay, and I thought, gee, the standard was outstanding. Yes. Victoria and South Australia in the death final later on today, which you'll see live on the Cricket Australia stream on. Facebook, facebook.com. Dan Lonigan, Paul Sheehan, who, of course, is the Victorian president, Lord Taverners, former, of course... Uh... Willow's a definite key wicket for New South Wales. And uh, I think if they don't get him early... He starts well. As he finds a gap. There was a bit of hesitation, as there was so much in the Queensland ID innings today. Long over from Fitzpatrick King, so obviously with the no ball. Good shot by Brewer, he clears the infield, got plenty of elevation. 
It's a feel for a run now, but I don't think it was taken cleanly. So that's a beautiful shot. Look at the reverse sweep there from Victoria getting a boundary. It was a good effort to try and stop it. Oh, another no ball, so another free hit. There's been a few of those. They've been a bit untidy, New South Wales, haven't they? Even yeah. the wicket keeping's been a bit untidy so far. Correct. It's not, it's not like New South Wales. That's down the ground. Get the window here. Let's see what it's. It's got two, and they should be able we to go back for a third. This. Well, that was a bit lazy, really. It's going yeah. like a train, wasn't he? Just motoring yeah. along beautifully. Yeah, I think. Lin with Lin this is in the air by Brewery. Got plenty of this one. He whacked it down the ground, and there are gaps everywhere. Being towards the non strikers, end and bowled him. Well, that's he, a huge yeah, wicket. It, it is a huge wicket. He is, uh, I mean, I, I had a feeling that maybe Chris has made uh, a 20 odd in this tournament already, which of course is 40. Oh, that is very good running. Oh, excellent running. Although, has he hurt is, himself? He might have hurt is himself, Dan Brewer. He, he's down. Yeah, he is because he, he lost control of the bat and yep. may have whacked his leg on the way through. Oh. Nice shot there. Yeah, beautiful shot. And that'll nearly go to the boundary. Well, he found the gap. But 40 off 33 for Ned Brewer. And 22 off 17 for Chris Bailey. As there's a run out. Yeah, Complete Brewer? confusion. I think if they were going to lose a wicket, obviously, they would have preferred us to go in There's a misfield, oh. and that'll nearly go for four. Lovely square drive. Even again. And this is flicked in the air. Has it got enough on it? He's a good fielder, Cameron, and has got enough on it. This time and that's it's pulled through clean. the offside. They're going to go for two. They're going to come back. There's a pill for a run out. They've got back in time. That's what they should have done more. That's good running. During the innings, it was a good throw by Cameron. That was the score, Victoria, two for one, six, nine. Last ball of the 19th over. Stubbs operating from the city end. Swung by Pritchard, and he swung it in the air. Brown's got some work to do. He'll just pick it up as the outfield's still pretty slow inside the boundary at the northern end, and they easily make it back for three. There are obviously other things going on as well that you've got to take account of. As that is flung in the air for one, they'll come back for two. There's a misfield. Pritchard comes back comfortably. I, as I said at the start, I didn't think they had this enough is in runs. in the air. Might be caught. It is caught. It is caught. It's all over. Pritchard was the key. He's been caught down on the boundary at forward square leg. Ed. And they'll get one. Heaven, I should say. And they'll come back for two. Which is worth which four is runs worth to four. them. Yeah. In off three. But isn't Spencer, isn't Spencer a B1? He is, yes. So... So it's full. Well, it oh, it is. A, it, well, it's going to be a run out. Yes. Pritchard's been run out. To retire. Probably stopped any chance that they had with the momentum. Ovid swings in the air and it'll bounce in front. They'll come back for a couple. Gets away from the fielder right in the boundary. He just keeps it alive. I beat one at a third. Yeah, Last nice ball. ball. And New South Wales have won. I has got a little bit of an inside edge. They'll come back for two. And they'll be delighted, New South Wales. They'll come back for three. And in the end, New South Wales have won yes. the blind championships. They're, they're actually buys. There was no connection on the bat. Doesn't really matter. But a great effort by Victoria to get so close. They got within three runs in the end. But New South Wales have won. And deserve it winners. Right throughout the whole tournament. Yeah. They've won their eighth National Blind Cricket Championships. And what a tremendous result it was. Absolutely brilliant. Two for 188 of their 20 overs. And ye of little faith.
Tony Telford well, didn't think it was going to be enough. No, I didn't. But it was more than enough.